Clark, who was the National Security Council's counterterrorism chief under both President Bush and President Clinton, currently chairman of GoodHarborReport.com and author of the book, Your Government Failed You, Breaking the Cycle of National Security Advisors. It's good to see you in person again. Sir. It's great to be here, Keith. Uh, did Charlie Black just erase any remaining line between counterterrorism and scaring people for political gain? Well, I think that line was erased in 2004. Mm. Uh, it's been erased in every election since 9-11. And what Charlie Black did is reveal their thinking. Not that they wanted a, a terrorist attack, but that they do plan to run by scaring us. They're using the same playbook they've been using for years because it works. Mm -hmm. And if McCain is sincere in saying that he's shocked that there's gambling going on in his casino, <laughs> then he ought to fire Charlie yeah. Black. I mean, Charlie Black ought to be gone tomorrow morning so that we can say once and for all that this campaign is not going to be a campaign about fear and about saying that one guy is soft on terrorism and right. if you vote for him there'll be another terrorist attack all the sorts of things that we've heard in the past yeah just somebody once saying this is not going to be a mixture of politics presidential politics and and the necessary counterterrorism because it, this is the darkest part of it you can argue the politics forever and blame game forever but what the, the darkest part of this i think and i'd like your opinion on it is that we are necessarily faced with if there are any legitimate warnings or any plots that come up between now and november they are now they now have to be seen through the prism of what he what black has just said well that's right and, and the fact that we now know from tom ridge and others that when there were threats uh... released in two thousand four mm -hmm. that they were largely exaggerated and blown up so we're now in the situation where the american people won't believe a warning if there were a real one uh, but mccain can stop all of that uh, he can stop talking about uh, Hamas has endorsed Obama. He can stop all of these sort of innuendos and go to the issues-based campaign he said he was going to do. And the way he does that is by tomorrow morning announcing the resignation of Charlie Black and saying that he wants to run on the issues and not as the scare candidate, not as the scaremonger, not as the scarecrow. Does he take a hit one way or the other because this does to some degree re reflect that very that that intangible that he is running on judgment in crisis relating to national security I mean, this was uh, the, the comments that he made about Buto that Charlie Black made about Buto's assassination that this helped them in New Hampshire are pretty damn stupid because obviously this suggests to terrorists whether they had any intention or not that they can affect materially affect American politics and get whoever they want perhaps elected and, and all sorts of other matters and in addition, in addition with the point we were just making which is this re-injects this idea of um, it, we will say something that could conceivably mean that the next terror alert is ignored or viewed utterly cynically what kind of judgment is it and is that part of the judgment process about somebody's judgment where you say well look I, I this you have this man working for him and clearly he does not know when to keep his big mouth shut well Charlie about black knows a lot about politics but he doesn't know much about terrorism mm -hmm. if he did he would know that Osama bin Laden Amman Zawahiri and all the al-Qaeda leadership watch US politics very closely uh, we've even had cases where in interviews bin Laden quoted opinion polls from European public opinion mm -hmm. polls so yeah they understand that they can manipulate politics as they tried to in the Spanish election uh, with the attacks there and to say yeah you can manipulate our politics come and do it uh, is an invitation that uh, the McCain campaign shouldn't be anywhere near from what you're seeing uh, uh, regarding those who are advising McCain and McCain's own predilections in this, is there any indication, is there any space that, that would suggest, and obviously the, what he does about Charlie Black is perhaps the biggest examination he's had on counterterror yet, right. but is there any indication that he is deviating to any degree from, from the Bush handling of this, which seems to be uh, political opportunity first, photo opportunity second, protect the country third? Well, not yet, uh, and in fact quite the opposite. I mean, the, the remark that uh, McCain made about how Hamas had endorsed uh, Senator Obama as though Senator Obama wanted their endorsement, uh, that said to me uh, that they're going to run on this fear card. They're going to run on uh, innuendo and whisper. Uh, they're obviously thinking they're going to benefit from the fact that some percentage of the American people think that Senator uh, Barack uh, Obama is a Muslim. Uh, and, you know, they need to walk away from all of that, and, and they have the opportunity now. Charlie Black's mistake, letting the veil drop, is an opportunity for Senator McCain to run a dignified campaign on the issues and walk away from the politics of fear.
Is there an opportunity in it for Obama not to exploit this mistake or exploit this issue or exploit counterterrorism, but to say, all right, here's how I actually differentiate myself from Mr. McCain's approach to the entire issue? Is there some way he can help in this matter shake that, that thing that has been hung around the Democrats that, that next for seven years, that there's some softness on terror? Yeah, I think there's a way to have a dialogue in this election campaign about national security, about terrorism, about homeland security, without invoking the fear card. Uh, and there are substantial differences in what the two candidates have said. McCain is much more of a let's use the military to deal with terrorism guy. And uh, Obama is saying, no, let's use all of the instruments of national power. A good time to perhaps for him to reemphasize that as they did in the statement to some degree. Richard Clark, former national counterterrorism advisor, author most recently of Your Government Failed You. Uh, as I said, a pleasure to see you in person, sir. Great to be here.